Let's see, what am I missing here? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hat, check. Sunglasses, check. Pepsi, check. Notes, check. Sources, check. And thick skin, check. Let's go. This Syracuse Clemson game was, it's kind of like what I expected, but not really. I expected it to be a back and forth game, and it has been. But one play has changed this game, and it was a 90-yard scoop and score. The score was tied 7-7, and Clemson was about to score, and a 14-point swing happened because they fumbled the handoff, and Syracuse takes the fumble to the house, a 90-yard scoop and score. The biggest difference in this football game as far as why Syracuse is winning, two turnovers for Clemson that have led to two touchdowns for Syracuse. And their game plan, Syracuse's game plan going into this, is run the ball, and they've run the ball effectively, shorten the game, limit the possessions of Clemson, and just try to make Clemson, you know, make each drive count. And they've executed that perfectly. But they've added on top of that, and they've turned Clemson over twice. One of them scoop and score. Uh, this, is, this is the game plan that I was expecting from Syracuse. But, man, they are ex executing it way better than what I thought. My final score prediction was 28-20 to Clemson, but it could end up being the other way. Syracuse could win this football game 28-20. to uh, Clemson needs to come out here and score some points and need to do it quickly because they can't fall too far behind because Syracuse is actually a decent team. I did a prediction video, a preview prediction video yesterday, and the numbers for Syracuse actually surprised me. They have a bigger point differential than Clemson at plus 22.8, I believe. And Clemson's at plus 18.9, I believe, 18 point something. So they have a bigger gap in point differential. And they have a better defense than Clemson. There is no mistake about it. I know they played lesser opponents before this game. So it was, it was kind of hard to judge and gauge that. But I'm telling you, Syracuse has one of the best defenses that I've seen all year long. They have a great, great defense. But DJ Uwe Ungale needs to get that passing game going because they're going to need it. They need to score points quickly because if they fall into the game plan of Syracuse and their possessions are limited, then they could lose this football game. Same thing on defense. They need to force Syracuse into three and outs because Syracuse likes to run the ball. They like to move the chains, shorten the game, limit possessions. Clemson needs to get as many possessions as possible. And I said that was the game plan going into this game. Well, they have not executed that game plan well at all. Syracuse has a legitimate shot of upsetting Clemson on the road. Right now, going into halftime, Syracuse is leading 21-10. to Wow, I did not see this coming. Can Clemson get it together? Come back. I never thought I would say that. Come back against Syracuse and win this football game in Death Valley. Yikes. Y'all let me know in the comments section. Do y'all think Syracuse pulls this out? Or do you think Clemson can pull a comeback and win this football game? That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.